Hey all, this is... I'm KP. I'm Bryn. This is Hip Hop at Midnight Madness. It's like, if did you say Hip Hop oh. at Midnight Madness? <laughs> that is the official title. Not, I did not, I said my Hip Hop, not Hip Hop. <laughs> 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 okay, moving on. So, um, yes, so we talked about the three levels of dancing. You can be a person who's sitting on the wall, basically grooving. You can actually be a groover who's moving, and then you can be somebody who's getting down, actually dancing, and moving your body across the floor. All right? Uh, we talked about whenever you move, it's originating from your feet, not from your upper body. If you see somebody dancing, even though you saw this in the shoulder movement, if you watch closely, you're going to see my feet move first and then the shoulders are added because of the feet, okay? And then the last thing is that when you do hip hop, different from other dances, you're not doing it for the person who is watching, you're doing it for yourself. So you're allowing someone else to see it, but you're not trying to present to them. All right, so we did a few patterns here where we implemented some of the hip hop. The first thing we did was just walk, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, close position. Let's do this one, real quick. Step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, close position. We did a left side pass. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Then we did a sugar push with twisty rolls. One, two, twisty, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Anchor step, left spinning side pass. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. We did a hitch, hitch, and go. Then kick, ball, change, turn, kick, ball, change, turn, kick, ball, change, connect. Leaders, we step one, lift on two, step one, two, follower goes, and three, and four, and five, and six, down seven, and eight. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, okay, so I want material for the, the up and down. Yeah, the, the hip hop and the Oh, the ladies, the ladies. You know, the different things you do, the brand part, the brand part. All right, so uh, the, the baseline is to go up and down, and then the next thing is to go up and down. And this already looks good, but if you want to add, I think of doing a body roll that is in line with these steps. So I do body roll, replace, body roll, replace. Then I add the, the, the last part of the footwork, which is body roll and body roll and body roll. Yeah, so the circles. There's a lot to go. We're not just quick, circles. just quick. Just quick. Okay. The circles are around. Do you have any good drills to help like get that body, that motion in your body? Like, what is that? Do you have any good drills that you do? Like, for my, my drills yeah. for my body motion? Yeah, to get Not really. So what I do, so, so body drills for a leader. So what I think about doing is whatever is natural from what my feet are doing. So if my, if my feet do this, what, like, what I kind of like amplify what my body is naturally already doing. So if I turn my foot, I notice that my shoulder kind of dip. So then I'm going to dip my shoulder itself. I'm going to just add to what it's naturally doing. I'm not going to force something in the movement that doesn't work. So you're not going to see me go like this, right? So you're going to see me do this, and I notice, oh, I kind of opened up. But then I just make that bigger. Does that make sense? So I make my feet bigger, and my body follows. Got it? Thank you, guys. Thank you.